Hi everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is upconversion nanoparticles and their biomedical applications. Upconversion nanoparticles are a new form of fluorophore that converts low energy photons to high energy photons, faster than conventional materials. These nanoparticles are also remarkable for their biocompatibility and low cytotoxicity, making them appropriate for a variety of biomedical applications. In this video, I'll explain you about the fundamentals of upconversion nanoparticles and their biomedical applications. What are upconversion nanoparticles? Upconversion nanoparticles convert photons from a lower energy state to a higher energy state using both physical and chemical processes. These particles are known to absorb energy in the infrared range and emit energy in the visible or ultraviolet range. Upconversion nanoparticles are typically made up of inorganic host molecules and a lanthanide dopant that is embedded within the host's lattice. While all lanthanides can undergo some form of upconversion, absorption, and excitation to desired levels of the visible and UV ranges are only possible with erbium-3, holmium-3, and thulium-3, because their inner shell electrons are shielded by the 5s25p6 subshells, resulting in a large number of defined energy states. How Upconversion Nanoparticles Work The mechanisms of upconversion nanoparticles differ from those of other luminescence mechanisms. Most other luminescence processes involve a single electron that is excited from the ground state to the excited state. In comparison, upconversion nanoparticles work on various low-energy photons to accumulate the low-energy excitation photons. This ionization leaves a partially filled 4F electron subshell because the only ions attainable during the upconversion are chosen by lanthanides with a 3 plus charge. The lanthanide ions can function as an emitter, directly emitting light, or as a sensitizer, absorbing excited light, upconverting it, and transferring it to an emitter. The lanthanide ions can upconvert light by transferring energy to the emitter through five different mechanisms excited state absorption energy transfer upconversion, energy migration upconversion, cooperative upconversion, and photon avalanche. Here, I will explain three basic mechanisms in detail. Excited state absorption. This is a multi-step excitation that involves sequentially absorbing one or more photons from the ground state to the intermediate reservoir stage, and then populating at the excited state, from which upconversion luminescence occurs. Photon avalanche. This is a more complicated process with three separate non-linear behaviors, transmission, emission, and rising time on the pump power intensity, with the presence of a crucial pump threshold in most cases. This process includes resonant excited state absorption, efficient cross-relaxation, and substantial reservoir level population, which results in strong upconversion emission. Energy transfer upconversion. In this process, Two situations, resonant non-radiative transfer and phonon-assisted non-radiative transfer in a two-ion system, occur. When the excited energies of the sensitizer and the activator are nearly equal and the distance between them is close enough, energy can be transferred from sensitizer to activator, exciting activator from its ground state to excited state before sensitizer emits photons. Because there is an energy mismatch between sensitizer and activator ions in phonon-assisted non-radiative transfer, phonon assistance is required to complete the energy transfer process. Application of upconversion nanoparticles Upconversion nanoparticles have found most of their use at the interface of biology, medicine, and nanotechnology due to their high biocompatibility and small dimensions, and are an emerging technology across the interdisciplinary field of nanomedicine. Upconversion nanoparticles have some unique optical properties, such as producing absorption and emission spectra via a forbidden 4F4F electron transition, which provides long lifetime and tunable emissions that can be used widely in drug delivery applications. Drug delivery strategies that combine upconversion nanoparticles with other biocompatible materials have been tried and tested, and typically use a mesoporous silica shell, hydrophobic pockets, or hollow spheres with a mesoporous surface. They can also be conjugated with doxorubicin for anti-cancer applications and combined with plasmonic nanoparticles to convert near-infrared light into heat for photothermal therapy treatments. Another area of research is the combination of upconversion nanoparticles with photosensitizer molecules for photodynamic therapies to kill tumors and other diseases. 
Upconversion nanoparticles have unique luminescent properties such as high tissue penetration depth, low background signals, large Stokes shifts, sharp emission bands, and low photobleaching, making them an excellent choice for bioimaging and biolabellaying applications. Upconversion nanoparticles to photon absorption mechanism results in higher energy emission and more efficient upconversion than other technologies, such as those based on quantum dots and organic dyes. Moreover, they can be functionalized at the surface, allowing them to retain their luminescence performance when solubilized for use within the body. Upconversion nanoparticles have been used to image various types of breast cancer cells, HeLa cells, and ovarian cancer cells to date. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.